Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss about application gateway URL redirection. We'll take an example wherein we will redirect our application traffic from the HTTP protocol to the HTTPS, which is a secure protocol with the help of application gateway. You can use this redirection method to any other protocol as well, but in our example, we'll take the traffic flow from the HTTP to HTTPS. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be A Learner. Let's first of all understand the scenario. So we have a user, application user here, which is basically trying to connect to the application backend using the HTTP URL. So we have the URL, which is a public IP address, for example, and we are trying to connect or access this URL or the HTTP protocol on the port 8080 or port 80. And then we have a backend web application, which is protected or the secure or the HTTPS protocol, let's say. Now we would like to uh, allow our sudden user to route the traffic from the HTTP protocol using this public IP address to this application gateway. Now to do that, what the configuration looks like in the application gateway is first of all, we need to create a basic setup in the application gateway, what we require to create the application gateway. For example, we need to have a front end address available in the application gateway. So front end address is going to be the IP address, which user is going to be used to access the URL. So let's say this is the front end IP address starting with 151.26. And next we need to have a listener. So at the moment when we will create the application gateway, we will create a HTTPS listener, which will listen the traffic or the HTTPS protocol. And now, with that listener, we would have a rule associated, which will be capturing any incoming traffic from this HTTPS listener, and then it will route the traffic to the backend pool. So we would have a backend pool configured with this application gateway. And in that backend pool, we will specify our backend as the web application, which is our actual backend. So with that backend, we need to specify the HTTP setting. And we know that by now we know that the HTTP settings are the settings which will make the communication from your application gateway to your actual backend service. And that's the reason we need to have the HTTP setting. So let's first of all, configure the application gateway with this basic setup, and then we'll move on with the, and understand with the help of this diagram. So I'm into the Azure portal right now, where we have the web application with the application service plan we have, and then we have a virtual network gateway created, virtual network created, and now we will create the application gateway like we discussed in the diagram. So first of all, I'll go ahead and create the application gateway from the portal. I'll specify the name of the gate application gateway. I'll say the URL routing, the name of the application gateway. You can give any name. I'll keep the default configuration as is. You can choose the WAF v2 as well. If that's if you have a requirement of a WAF in your case, I'll choose the virtual network name and then the subnet. Make sure you have the empty subnet within your virtual network for the application gateway. Now let's create a front end IP address, the IP address, which we have specified in our diagram. So we'll create a new application gateway IP address app gateway. Now we will specify the backend. So we'll say application gateway. We can leave the application gateway backend as an empty, but in our case, we'll specify the application backend type as an app service. And this is what the app service we have. So let's specify this particular backend app service. I'll say yes, our front end and back ends are ready here. And now we need to specify the routing rule like we have seen in the diagram. So here is the routing rule configuration. So I'll say the application gateway default HTTPS rule. And here in the listener, we'll say app gateway secure listener, which will listen to the secure traffic. Front end IP address will say it will listen from the front end IP address 
in this case as we are talking about the secure traffic so i'll choose the protocol as a secure protocol and it is specify the certificate here i'll choose the key vault to fetch the certificate i'll call it as in root cert we are going to use the manage identity to fetch the traffic uh, to fetch the certificate next you need to specify the backend target which will be forwarding the traffic from this listener to the backend target so i'll choose the or the default backend is the backend which we have created over there let's specify the https setting so we call it https secure setting Use the pack and port as an HTTPS. Use the well-known certificate. So it's going to use the well-known certificate. I'll say pick up the host name from the backend target. Add new. And this is what the default setting we have. So we have the front-end routing rule, which will route the, any HTTPS traffic to the backend pool, which is the backend pool which we have created, which is basically targeting to the to our web app. Let's review and create the setup. Once the application gateway default configuration will be created, what next configuration we are going to do? We'll create another listener which will listen to the traffic or the HTTP protocol. So we'll call this listener as the HTTP listener. And the listener, as I said, it will receive the traffic on this port port 8080. So this is how it's going to look like. So we would have a listener configuration with a front-end IP, which is the front-end protocol, then port 8080, and then protocol is HTTP. Then this listener basically connected to a rule, which we would have. So it means that we need to have another rule, which will be associated with this particular listener. And then this rule basically will redirect the traffic to the HTTP listener. And we already have the a rule two configured as a default setup. So any request which is coming on to the real rule two, it will forward the traffic to the backend. And this is how it will look like. So, and it will be able to communicate. So let's see how do we set up our default listener and the rule to redirect the traffic. It looks like our application gateway is created successfully. So if I group by the resources this is the application gateway which we have created just now and the configuration of application gateway is the same what we have created this is our application gateway backend which is targeting to the web app next we have the http settings which is the http settings to connect to the backend targeting to the port 443 this is the front-end IP address which is being created and this is our public front-end IP address for the application gateway and as of now we have our default listener associating uh, associated with a rule which is the application gateway HTTPS rule. Now let's create the new rule for the HTTP traffic so we'll call the app gateway HTTP listener front end so we'll keep as is because we would like to receive the traffic on the port number 8080 let's call it as 080 and then what we'll do we'll keep as is so this is going to be our listener which is completed now let's go to the rule in which we we will associate this new listener to the new rule so we'll call it a app gateway rule instead of http https which this time it's going to be http rule and this rule routing rule will listen the traffic on the http listener the listener which we have just now created and here instead of specifying the backend pool will specify the redirection option so if you remember correctly in our last selection when we created the application gateway we have specified the backend as the backend pool uh, as a backend target uh, back in, we have specified the backend pool as a backend target in our last selection but now at this time we'll specify the redirect option and here in the redirection you have 
various choice of so four choice basically you would like to redirect permanently or let's say if you want to redirect your web traffic temporarily to some external url or you, you want to redirect to your traffic to let's say some error page or some some information that let's say you're working on some kind of a updates to your web application you want to redirect to some temporary page which will display a message that some updates is going on so service is not available something like that in this case i'll keep the permanent redirection option as is and here in the redirects option if you are specifying it uh, if you want to choose uh, your redirection to the external site let's say if you want to redirect to the google.com you can use this radio button option which is the external site and then you can specify the redirection url in our case we would like to redirect our traffic from http listener to the https listener so in this case we are going to specify our secure listener as the option and that's it once we choose this select so the configuration is saved successfully now if you at the time of creation of the application gateway it has created the health prop based on the backend which you have provided in the backend pool so it has created a health prop so with the help of http setting and the health prop it's which you can verify here as in the backend health of your application gateway with this particular option and this proves that your application or the application gateway configuration is it's it's healthy to route the traffic the way you have configured now let's use the public ip address of the application gateway or the front end ip address of the application gateway to redirect our traffic to test our configuration we are going to use the http protocol with the ip address of our front end with the front end ip address of application gateway and here we will use the port 8080 which is the port which we have specified in our application gateway and as you can see even though I have mentioned the traffic to be route on the HTTP protocol, it has redirected the traffic to the HTTPS protocol. And now if I look at proceeding browse it safe, then I should be able to browse my web application. So this is how the URL redirection works. You can configure the redirection other way around. For example, you could have the secure url which is the secured with the https protocol and then from the https protocol you can specify or forward your traffic to the to your unsecure backend so this is how the overall configuration of the this is how the url redirection with application gateway is demonstrated here i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the upcoming videos which I'll be uploading in future. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.